Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we had uh, quite the plot dump on our hands, gotta say. The gist of it is that the world is ending. And the world ending is why everybody in this world seems to be acting so dang weird. It has to do with these creatures called the Gaiken. Uh, honestly, it was so much to take in, I don't really know entirely. I, I couldn't quite understand it. It's like, to my understanding, that the Gaiken hate existence, and so they want to bring destruction to everything for the apocalypse. Something like that, and there's also this guy called the Colrod, who is... According to Orgaya, the person who is trying to bring them in. Something about the Gaiken are fighting with each other, and the Colrod is gonna, like, make them stop fighting. Oh yeah, and... We also got this new character on our team, the Shadow Mistress. She is a thieving fool. And she wants her book back or something. No, wait, we already got her book back. Well, in that case, she's on our team because I forget why. There was a lot going on when we last left off. Also, this is a thing. I forgot to write down what it's called, but just basically harmless as long as you don't make them mad. If you do make them mad, you're screwed. Liquid Spring. We're going to the spring to look for the water goddess and kill her so that she will help us. The liquid orb begins to glow and vibrate as you walk through, then disappears. And there's some other orbs we can get. Touch the orb. Let's hold off on that for the moment. Order. Otis. Gotta love puzzles. So we obviously gotta... Touch these in the correct order here. It's just a question of what the order is. I'm going to guess we're going... counterclockwise here, because we found the fire goddess first, and now we're going to find the... Water Goddess, and I guess assume that the pattern continues from there. Well, that didn't seem to be it. Okay, was there some sort of clue that I forgot? No, that's already... Well, who knows, maybe that actually would help. Let's only even come back again, just in case that resets the pa password. News? I don't know if news is going to come into play again. That tablet is not helpful. Oh, there's another one over there. I didn't even see that. Okay, so red, blue, green, purple. Alright. Let's leave and come back. Take a look at this again. Red, blue, green, purple. And it hovers on the red longer than the other, so I assume that means it's the starting point. Red, blue, green, purple. Red, blue, green, purple. That was it! Boy, I feel sorry for anybody who is colorblind. 
Orgaya says I'm the only streamer to figure that out. <laughs> Considering how much trouble I had with that gray puzzle, I'm kind of surprised. Lady Liquia, I was right. Please. Oh, hey! Thank you for the bits, Rosser. Hooray for th figuring things out instead. Anyway, please kill. Wait, what? Nah, I got this. Alright, killed her. Thank you, hero. Go. Now. Your friend. Is here. Who? It is I. Well, well. Long time no see. I can see you are reeling after my cap after my departure. Oh, it's you. That friend. Huh. Ho ho, Perius. I didn't expect to see you here. How fair is your brother? Is he still with Karen? Karen left him a while ago, but never mind that. Where were you? Shame. But ah, yes. Perrin, after that little incident in Hyola, I assume all three of us were separated. I, for some odd reason, was teleported back to the Heatra Spring. Which reminds me, didn't you say that you had a package for my wonderfulness? Yes, take it! Take it now! I am done... Why do things keep in uh, uh, disappearing from my inventory? Where is it? What happened to the package? Gosh dang it, when did I lose that? Hmm? Is there something wrong? Wait, Perrin, don't tell me that. This always happens! What always happens? I'm not even going to say that the Shadow Mistress is gone because I didn't even notice. Hello? Did something... Wait, where's the... Oh, you've got to be. Are you ever going to finish your sentences? She stole the package and ran off with it. <laughs> oh, yes. Something I am most used to. We'll have to tail her, but I don't have any idea where she might have gone. Vincent, you have any idea what was in that box? Hmm, I could be incorrect because I talked to a great many people, but I seem to recall making some kind of deal with a very shady person in a while ago. And they offered me some sort of item to be delivered in a package only I could open, in exchange for something. I cannot for the life of me remember what it is exactly. Helpful? Well, I was working with my father at the time. I had other things on my mind, you know. This person could have been a nut job. Fine, whatever. We need to focus on Mira and Jack anyway. Ah, yes. Well, as I said, I'm here now to help. Lady Liquia, will you grant us your magnificent omnipotent cogniz co cognizance and point us in the correct direction? Salvatore's Grove. Is English just not your first language or something? Wait, Mira and Jack are there? No. Fury. Ah, yes. The seemingly primary antagonist of the game. I think he is the coal rod. Liquia? Are you alright? Slay him. Slay Fury. Well, that would be a yes. Hmm... I know the location she's speaking of. I shall join you. Hey, welcome back, Vincent. You know, I keep getting you mixed up with that other guy we encountered. The guy who plot dumped everything on top of us. They kind of look similar to each other. 
North of here is Salvatore's Grove. There isn't really much there, so I'm unsure what Liquia expects of us. All right, well, we have a destination. And it's off in this direction, it seems. Worth pointing out again that aside from these magnificent beasts roaming around, we once again encountered a forest that doesn't really have a bunch of monsters to fight. Maybe monsters just don't like forests. But they do like forest caves, probably. Blue Grove. Is that a spider? That's a spider. That was the wrong button to. Give me a moment to remember the buttons, because it's been like half a week or so since I've... Play the game. I, I try in regards to the big old lore that we were given last time. I tried rewatching it right before the stream. Didn't really have time to take it all in. Somebody's poison. Who is poison? That would be me. Do we have something that heals poison? I don't think we do. Check that. That works. It will definitely take me a couple of watches to figure out what all that lore was that I was given. But I'll try to write it down as best as I can, at the very least. Hey, level up. Cool. Orgaya says that it is a lot, but it's referenced throughout the game, so you'll have time to digest it all. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Mira and Jack apparently have been taken to some sort of bridge to be sacrifices for the Gaiken. I at least think I understood that much. Either sacrifices for the Gaiken or... Sacrifices for the coal rod who is directly re relevant to the Gaiken so either or Vincent died not sure when that happened Dutch Power at Creations is asking how I am enjoying the game. I am definitely enjoying the game. It is pretty easy to get a grasp on, gotta say. Uh, plot dumps aside, that is. But the combat so far seems pretty simple. And I definitely find the story pretty interesting. Vincent, how do you die so quickly? I'm like trying to keep an eye on your health. I guess since you're at a lower level... You're taking a lot more damage at a time. Alright, just wanted to make sure there wasn't something I missed. Just for context, this here is... Oh, you're definitely taking a lot of damage. This here is one of the game's many optional dungeons. There's a whole bunch of them scattered throughout the game. It's a little distraction. Sometimes finding nice things. 
In fact, I see a nice thing coming up. But going to have to work for it, for that's for sure. Not too hard, though. Spiders go down especially easy. It's a blue key. We've been getting these keys, and I'm not entirely sure where they go. Apparently, that so-called green chest that I found in that one optional dungeon, though, isn't actually green. It's apparently gray. So if I ever find a gray key, maybe that'll be the key to open that chest. Well, at the very least, we don't have to worry about finding any locked chests in this cave. Boy, this is a whining place, isn't it? Remember to save? I definitely remember to save, usually. I guess I'll kind of follow the path here. For the record, I cannot attack in this forest at all. So... No risk of accidentally attacking that thing. How do I get to that? Oh, this way. Alright. Cool. what I find? Revives? Yep. A revive. I apparently could definitely use those. What's this? Oh, that's a cave! Well, alright. More dungeon exploration. I'm still waiting to find another cool weapon at some point. That reminds me. Vincent, you probably need equipment. That's why you keep dying so much. So have some defense. I don't have a hat on hand for you. I don't think I have any arrows. I haven't been able to find another store for the arrows. This is definitely a good sword to have still, though. Oh, I already found the end of this uh, little optional place. Let's just kill everything. Oh, wait. Maybe it isn't the end of this place. Another blue key, of course. The thing that gets me more than anything else is my inability to turn while I'm attacking. So, turns out Orgaya seems to be making a sequel to this game. Makes one wonder. After you save the world from the apocalypse, what else can you save the world from? The apocalypser? Alright, I just got a thing. Let's take a look at it. Blue right slippers increases defense and mana. I'll take that. I think. I think. No, I want that extra mana. Maybe, maybe not. Don't know. Okay, I'm gonna do something that might be a bad idea. And I'm gonna save. Hopefully, Vincent doesn't leave my team and take that thing with him. But he's got a ton of MP on hand, so worse to have to have somebody on hand using these spells. All 
Orgaya ensures that I will get all of my equipment back. Alright. Because there was at one point where somebody left my team. I think it was Parius. And he took my rod with him. Wait, did I just go in a circle? I think I went in a circle. So now I have to figure out where the exit was. Oh, it was right here. Dutch Power Creation says, okay, gonna go now again. Don't want to spoil too much for myself. Alright, nice to see ya. Oh, there's another dungeon there. Can I reach it? Treasure as well. Aha! Well, first things first. Anything there? Nope. So let me grab the treasure first. More stimulants. I still find it really fun watching the compass go berserk whenever we leave certain areas. Oh, this this one has multiple levels to it. Hmm. Oh. Gaining levels pretty quickly. Watch out, poison. Poison is cool. Just not whenever you're afflicted with it. Kind of makes me wonder if we'll be able to acquire any status of effects to inflict on enemies. Don't know. We take them down pretty quickly, so poison wouldn't necessarily be useful. Unless it could be cast against a boss. Yeah, as, as quick as these enemies go down, I don't see us getting, getting any status effects to use against them. So I'm kind of curious who is responsible for the script that allows my teammates to go after enemies because it is actually a really well done script this is i think this is actually the first time i've played an rpg maker game where your party members actively went after enemies apparently this is the Falcao Pearl ABS. F A L C A O. And Pearl. Gotta love the PC RPG Maker community. All sorts of scripts that they have available to share. Some cool stuff. Uh, not worth attacking them, because they'll just respawn as soon as I get back on that level. Nice thing about my party members, they don't have to worry about accidentally going down the stairs if they happen to step on them. Oh yeah. Vince has got plenty of MP to be dealing with this stuff. His MP seems to be pretty static, I notice. But then again, all of us kind of have static MP. It's our health that goes up per level. Possibly also our strength, I haven't actually checked that. Oh, are things about to branch?
No. There's just a treasure chest over here. Blue right scarf. All right, I'll bite. What's that? Increases mana for companions and allows them to cast blue aura? Oh, that's right. I have a party member that can double experience. I need to do that. But first things first. What's blue aura? It covers mana for another party member. Or your own. That works too. Wow, that, that is actually a really big boost in mana that thing gave. Alright, while I'm thinking about it, this is actually really helpful. No, you're the one that increases defense. Alright. Who was it? It was Jack that increased my uh, MP. That's right. Or the, my uh, experience. Oh well. At least I can do the defensive buff. So that's actually a really nice piece of equipment. Honestly, just about removes any point to the stimulants. Yeah, those things. No, wait, not the stimulants, the potions, rather. Because we have a spell thing that we can just go... Oh, gosh, that's a mob. That's a mob. Holy crap. I'm really glad that... I got that defense boost. Ho <laughs> ho That was fun. Uh, let's see here. Brute Smasher. Weapon used by a Kith Brute. Just out of curiosity. Okay, let's try this out. Hmm. Seems to have an AoE effect to it. Alright, left the dungeon. And just in time because our defense has gone back to normal. Or Gaia says it's a useful companion weapon. You know, you might be onto something. Let me have back my green... You know what? No. I'm gonna keep it because if it has an AoE effect to it... Then that'll be helpful for those times where I'm having trouble turning to face the enemy I'm trying to attack. So I'll keep that on hand for now. Harrius can go ahead and equip the weapon that I had before. No, he can't. He actually can't. I should definitely try out his... Uh, giving him a magic staff, though. See how that works out for him. Oh, right. Right, right, right. Okay, I need my MP to heal. And that'll do it. Alright, so... We just had fun exploring a couple of optional dungeons. Now we need to proceed onward to wherever it was that we were proceeding to. But we will do that after this break. Be right back. <laughs> 